Leave me. Don't leave me here. No. No. All right. So, yeah. Both the top two seeds are in losers. Rickles, from what I have noticed, I could be wrong here. But in, in the past, Rickles has not gone Ganondorf against other Ganondorfs in doubles. Um, that might be... Are they gonna ditto? I guess they are gonna ditto. And, and I could be wrong. It might not be because he doesn't like the ditto. It could potentially be just because he felt he had a better chance with a different character. Um, Cloud being his other character. But he's gonna go Ganondorf on Muffin here. Okay. Um, oh, we're doing double. We're doing a ditto. We're doing a double ditto. This is it. This is all that matters. Okay. To be clear, blue team is Rickles and Equinox. And e uh, Muffin's wearing the Equinox tag. He's wearing the Equinox tag, which just makes things confusing. Oh, is Muffin dead? Muffin's dead. Yeah, he's totally dead. But the best uh, nickname for Equinox is not Equinox. It's uh, it's Shin Equinox. That's the best one. Don't let anybody. Shin Equinox. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> I digress. I, I think Rickles is just not going to lose a Ganon Ditto anymore. The man, at least in Chicago. The man is just too good at Ganon. Ganon versus Ganon. And that's how you saw him get the, got to this really quick lead for his blue team. Look at the up airs. Simultaneously. Uh, CSS is simultaneously up airing Ganondorfs. What the, a great game. This is why we're here. What a great game. Ned's tag is Roy right now, but that's not that's not Roy. No, he is not Roy. He is not our boy. He got neutral aired over to the side of stage, but he DI'd it very well. Rickles! Oh, but the platform. Smashville coming in the clutch here for for McMuffin. Red team kinda cornered a little bit though. They gotta find a way through. Muffin's dead. Muffin just died. How did he just He died for no reason. Nothing happened, he just died. That's it. Re oh my god, Rickles! That's a good trade for Rickles. Yeah, I mean, Muffin's at one stock, so that's a relatively good trade. Yeah, when, when the other person on their team is at one stock and then you take the two stocks, you're in good shape. And Ruckles is just, he look at him, he's just planted in the middle of the stage right now. He knows that, like, getting close to the edge is a recipe for disaster. So don't even go there. And Ganon's so fat, that's not even going to kill him. Rickles. Good trade! Rickles. I'm telling you, man, Rickles is just not going to lose Ganon dittos. Ever again. Okay, this match is interesting. He, uh, I, I keep trying to call, uh, trying to call Muffin Equinox because of his tag, but he's he's Muffin. He's not even. Nah, he's Muffin. He's Ally, actually. Yeah, Ally is trying to throw Rickles off stage, and he's gonna try to reverse up air him. Oh, What's back going air should on be good. Over there. A double kill. That's, That's a, a double. That's a no, but the magnet hands. He had a jump. I didn't realize he had it. That would have been so clutch if he got that double. But all right, stocks are even now. But Ned's a Ganon death percent or up death percent. Run up up death percent too. Now you got Ganon versus himself, but better. Okay. Okay. That's it. He's not even gonna try to recover. All right. Are we gonna see a character switch? Or are we doing the ditto? I don't predict we're going to see the ditto again. I think we're going to see a clued. At least. Alright, nope, no character switch. We're sticking to these characters, Dermy. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe they just have too much to prove. And they really want to stick to the ditto. But anyway, yep, that's what final got. destination, I guess, is going to be the pick. Do you know what it is? Uh, what does final destination change? Like, we saw Ganon's recovering with the Smashville platform a lot. Um, it changes that. His space, I don't know how important space is here. Looks like we're just hitting each other, not really worrying about space. I think they're going to play the same kind of strategy where they just, one team holds the middle, and that team that's holding the middle is in an insanely strong position. Like, look at that. Boom. Look at that. Con he just used stage control to land a back air onto Equinox, and he flew all the way to the side and died. Did you see that combo there? Down air into ZSS back air into Ganondorf's everything. It was great. Good recovery here, though, by McMuffin. And now he's looking for the side, but he won't find it. 
and Rickles is dead. This is a very different game from that previous one. Yeah, a lot less shenanigans. It's just really solid stage control coming out from Red Team that's letting them confirm into so much stuff. Like, look at Rickles. He's stuck in the corner. And being and Ganon stuck in the corner means he can't help out Equinox. Equinox is going to get hit by that elbow and fly off the side at 90. And he, he, uh, Muffin just has seed there. But Equinox is at his last stock already. Well, previous game it was Muffin, now it's Equinox. This is a janky set. It's a CSS Ganondorf mirror. I, yeah. Of course it's jank. It can't not be janky, otherwise it's not real. There's no universe in which this matchup isn't jank. Oh, but that's gonna kill a teammate. And Rickles, the, the kill thief. <laughs> so technically it wasn't a team kill. Rickles got the like hit of the nair, so. Oh, did his eyes glint on the bottom? It probably. Rickles didn't when you get a, When you get a kill, uh, the person who got the credit for that kill, their eye glints. Rickles was the last person to hit him, so it must have been his kill. Those dreamy Ganondorf eyes. It's glinting in the sunset. Staring at Ganondorf's eyes all night. I love him. He's an attractive man. Not as attractive as Wario, though. Again, these uh, this stage control from Red Team just leads to so much. They're not really able to find a, a, a single killing blow, but they're they're two kill blows away from making it a one versus two against Ganondorf. There it is. Of course, the share stock immediately comes in, preventing a Ganondorf. Is it going to be share, share stock to die instantly? That's a true combo. Yeah, share stock to die instantly is a true combo. <laughs> That's better though for the blue team, yeah. even though it's a still a four stock deficit. You it's also better for the blue team. You don't, you don't really want a Ganondorf in a 2v1. ZSS is the better character for that situation. Indeed. Like, we see these these invincible up tilts coming out already and just stuffing uh, Equinox, but it doesn't even matter. Because his alter ego, Equinox, gets the up smash. Shin Equinox. Shin Equinox. Oh, you, wait. sir, are full of Shin Equinox right now. What? No, it's, it's like his ghetto name, Shin Equinox. <laughs> Muffin immediately screams no when he picks Diddy Kong. All right, are we doing the Diddy? I for find game that three? hilarious. Yeah, it's. I think at this point, the, this is their destiny, and they have to. Uh, they have to live out this future where they do the ZSS Ganondorf Ditto. Dreamland, the pick. This is definitely an Equinox-inspired pick. He likes Dreamland a lot. It's his go-to. Ganondorf's like this layout a lot too, because it up smashes on the platforms. They, pre uh, they would prefer Battlefield for the up smashes on the platforms. Up smash still hits these platforms though. You don't have to be as precise with it. Yoshi's kind of the same. Like, on Battlefield, Yoshi's up smash covers the entire side platform. But when there's a little bit more distance, Yoshi's up smash covers less. Yeah, but Ganondorf's like surface area. seven feet taller than Yoshi. Yeah, but his up smash isn't a circle, it's just a straight line. Equinox flying off the so side, that's his first stock gone. And Rickles was in a bad spot, but okay, he makes it back. Wait, can Ganon punish a Ganon forward tilt on- or a Ganon jab on shield with another jab? Yeah. Ganondorf definitely can. That matchup's jank, dude. No one can press any buttons for free. No, buttons aren't allowed to be pressed. Basically, right. whoever t presses the first button loses. That's how it works. Press button first and you lose, so you have to wait to make somebody impatient and press the button. Dash attack to up air confirm combo on Ganon on another Ganon. Sealing out Rickle stock here to start. Ned the only one hanging on to his first. He's gonna try to hold on as long as possible. He doesn't have a- oh, he does have his jump. Okay, he makes it back. I like this new air- nair, excuse me, nair edge guarding stuff that Rickles has been doing. I haven't seen it before and I really like it now. Oh, he's been doing a lot lately. He's a bit he's a big fan of Nair in general. Like off stage that actually kills way earlier and has a more active hitbox. It can catch air dodges a little bit easier than, than the up air. Forward air or up air or things that have shorter hitboxes. <laughs> Did you see the double recovering Ganondorfs? <laughs> I mean the red Ganondorf is looking a little bit sharper at the moment here. And he avoids the Edge guard on himself. Picks it back. Ned's gonna lose his first stock though. And now it is four stocks to three. Why is this happening? <laughs> I don't wanna do this anymore. This, this is the world we live in. 
Rickles with the disrespect. Rickles isn't really a disrespectful Ganondorf, but he got the disrespect there. That wasn't... I wouldn't have called that really disrespect. Well, he was dead, though, and he killed him harder. I feel like it was uh, just making it sure he was dead. It might have been insurance. Yeah. Text from both sides coming out here. Everyone's been teching well. Now, if this you game. tech wall jump that, you get a free follow up. Really? But if you do the normal tech, you can't. So it's same with Falcon. If, if Falcon, if you tech wall jump a Falcon or a Ganon up B, you you just kill them. They die. Unless All right. This is evened out though. Both Ganonors at low percent. Both uh, ZSSs at high percent. Which means both ZSSs can really die at any point in time. And like, both Ganondorfs are not going to die because they're really heavy. That one will die, though. That wasn't even a Ganondorf killing his ESS. That was Ned being so slick, sliding in there with that bear. And that's going to put his team in a great position. Muffin is the aggressor because that's a wise move as he is the one with the lower percent. Whoa! Oh. That was sweet from Ned. Landing the air dodge bait to down B kick off the top. Going to take it 2-1. And his ZSS Ganondorf pairing makes it to Grand Finals. Why was that Winner's Finals? <laughs> Why was ZSS versus Ganondorf double ditto? And this is the I, world we live in. I'm so tired. I can't, 